Hello, it's Lucy. Um, I'm going to be showing you some things that I got when I went to London. This is the first thing. It's called Man and Male and Female Detail 1942-43 Jackson Pollock. That's this one's a uh, I think it's a postcard and swap hat. Um I think they were a pound each. This is the next one. I like all the different the bold colours like the orange and the blue reminds me of like the sunset and the sea. And this is the next one, which is up that way. Also by Jackson Pollock. Which is called Mural Detail 1943 and it's oil and I'll break that. Cassian on canvas. That's at the Royal Academy of Art. Okay, now I'm going to show you the book. Which is very bright, as you can tell. Here's abstract expressionism. It's a very big book. This book was um, eighteen pounds. I think it's just the paperback one. Well, not just, but you know, it's the paperback version. The hardback version, I think, was like thirty pounds. So I picked this version. Looks like a picture of my mum telling me, "Don't buy that; it's too expensive." So I just got the this version. Although I think it's still really nice. Just not hardback version but I thought it's still good to 
views for videos because of the lots of pages. So page flipping, page turning, visuals, visual colours, hand keeps shaking. <laughs> All the patterns remind me of like a nail polish kind of thing. Although if I showed you how to do that, the nail polish, just flicking it on the uh, canvas or something, it would stink. <laughs> It'd probably be a really bad idea for my asthma at the moment. Because um, if I do anything with nail polish, I think I should do it outside because it stinks in the house. It's like my bracelet. I um attached the charm to the bracelet. So yeah, little reindeer as you can tell. All oh, this swap hands now, I've shown you that. It's my hands like shaking, it's really annoying. <laughs> and you just see you just see this. It just doesn't go to sit. <laughs> and let's start by having a look now. We go over there. That's oh, funny. Says it like it says here, it says it there as well. What's <laughs> in the bind of it? The Royal Academy of Arts. Little information about it. Have a read if I could see. <laughs> Says, for example, it says, when, when the abstract expressionism exploded out of New York and the West Coast in the aftermath of the Second World War, it changed the art world forever. Initially, in engendering shock and outrage, the intensity and men mesmerising beauty of canvases by Jackson Pollock, William de Kooning, Mark Rothko. Clifford Still, Joan Mitchell, Franz Klein and other others soon ensured the acceptance as icons of the 20th century art and immensely influential ones. This handsome volume accompanies the first exhibition to present an overview of an abstract expressionism in Britain since 1959, in addition to masterworks by the painter. Selections of celebrates the movement's huge diversity, including works by other sculptors such as David Smith and Louise Nevelson, as well as photographers Aaron Siskind, Barbara Morgan, and Minor White. Using fascinating archive photographs and a comprehensive chronology of the era, the authors explore the roots of the movement in the Great Depression, Israel reception around the world. The groundbreaking role played by the art dealers Becky I can't pronounce that. I'll try. Kagan Kagan and Betty Parsons and the complex and often can't say that either.
Which is so bright. I may not show you all of the pages. That's um it's an awful lot. Again, I was like, woke up and I was like, what's the day? What's the time? <laughs> Not what's the month, I know the month. Um, a figure setting through the eyes, the nose, mouth, the ear, overall figure. I really like that. Try and do something sort of inspired, influenced, should I say, by that. I should really have a piece of paper where I can note down the pages, which pages I like. I'm not so keen on that one, I don't really know why. Although if you say that, I guess at university or an art college I will know why. And I'm like, I don't know, I don't know why, I just don't like it. <laughs> but you have to explain everything, because I never know really what to say. I don't know if it's coming across that there is a shadow over this. I think it's because of the um, light on here. I can't really see the shadow. Sorry, I like shadows and reflections. As you probably can tell, because I'm like, shadow, yay. strange. It's like a cow, bicycle, load of paint I'm guessing. What's it say? Using his bicycle tires to spread liquid paraffin and black vitamin onto the surface of the canvas. Filmed in his London studio for Pathy News 1957 British Path LTD. So that's what he's doing. I hope he wasn't going to ride that bicycle anymore. They are nude in that picture so I won't show that. Just in case no one likes that kind of thing. Um, can't work out what that is. <laughs> Lots 
lots of writing. <laughs> it's annoying, my hand keeps shaking. <laughs> Information actually, I, didn't, I thought this was just pictures, but apparently not. Quite like these, sort of like um, geometric shapes. The tiger's eye, apparently, that's called. Probably on a huge scale, but they look very minimal. This is a hot water bottle, if you're wondering what on earth I have there. <laughs> it's very, very cold and starting to warm up now, luckily. Um, it's got pans again. A lady, I'm guessing. It's very, very bright. I can't pronounce things. I like that. Oh, my hand's shaking. It's annoying. Um, it's like a nose, an eye, mouth. Does it say about it? Nope. It doesn't say. It says it's called number seven. It's enamel on. And oil on canvas. I just start making artwork really. <laughs> start a little bit. I might, if depending how much um, life is in my phone, how much life and how much uh, uh, space, memory, I might show you some of the things I've done, which is really random, but I'll show you anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna um, end this one now. But I hope. Me. I hope I can show you some um, other ones I've done, so, I mean, some other work. I'm getting confused. I'm going to go now, so um, my hands are really, really shaking, so, bye.